Oh God, it flops everywhere. <laughs> uh, hey guys, welcome back to today's video. It's Jensine, AKA Jungle Naps. So I know that we're in the middle of seven days of holiday slay, but I just kind of got inspired recently and I was like looking around, you know, watching YouTube videos because I'm obsessed with them. And I actually saw Nikki Tutorial's um, review of using something like this, a bra insert, to apply foundation. And then I was checking out Tati's review of the actual Silly Sponge, and I was like, you know what, I kind of want to try this out. So I figured everybody's got to slay on a budget, and if you're trying to slay during the holidays, and all you got is a booby blender, you know, a little bra insert, hey, if you don't got a beauty blender, you know, like maybe this might be for you. <laughs> so I'm going to link Tati and Nikki Tutorial's video down below as well as the original YouTuber who did the booby blender <laughs> challenge. I'm gonna put all their videos down below. And uh, yeah, you know, like I just picked this up from Macy's and I was like, all right, you know, let's let's try this out. And I figured it would just be something really fun to do, a really funny, silly review. And if you guys want to hear my thoughts and see what it looks like for me to actually apply makeup with this crazy little thing, <laughs> then go ahead and keep watching. Let's go. Okay, so before we dive into applying the foundation with the bra insert, I'm going to, of course, prime my face. So I'll be using the Tarte um, Clean Slate Poreless Primer. Now, this one has way more of a like silicone base than the mattifying primer that I use. I just thought it'd be like a really great base for what we're gonna do. I figure at least there's gonna be like a smoother surface, you know, with this primer. Okay, so this is the bra insert. It's made out of silicone. I picked this up from Macy's and um, while I was watching Nikki Tutorial's video, she actually cut it to a smaller size but you know I was like I kind of want to be able to use this later on so I felt like that wasn't really something necessary for me to do I feel like that's not going to impair the actual function in terms of applying this I do like the way it feels though it's very squishy <laughs> and what I do love is of course you know, you're not gonna have this bra insert absorbing any of your products, which is nice. That means that, of course, you can save more product for you to use later on. And it's a lot more sanitary because it's just silicone, so it won't be absorbing any bacteria or anything like that. Of course, you have to make sure that you clean it in between each use. So, of course, I know you guys wanna see <laughs> how this is gonna turn out I'm curious too so yeah let's get to it <laughs> this right here is the Milani 2-in-1 foundation and concealer you guys have seen me use this on my channel for quite some time now I'm just going to apply a few dots of this into the top right here and now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to slide it on and then like eventually pat it in to blend. <laughs> oh wow, okay. Not too shabby. Okay, so right away, you know, since I've only applied it to half my face. First of all, I'm gonna say that I'm really impressed with how easy it is to just smooth it on. I mean, I barely used like two small little pumps on this and it covered half my face, which is a lot less than my regular beauty blender. Uh, so I'm saying that it's already really hard to get like 
a lot closer to like you know those fine little spots that the pointy part of a beauty blender can get to that's the only thing that I would say I do like that there's a lot less like friction on my skin as I'm applying it which is like great for anti-aging <laughs> benefits I'm gonna go ahead and apply the rest of my foundation to this side of my face Okay, so now that my whole face is done, I can share with you guys my thoughts. So, um, initially I'm just going to say that this isn't bad. I do think that in terms of the overall application with the bra insert, um, you know, it's definitely the foundation's heaviest on where I first applied it. So when I went to go pat it and spread it around evenly, like, you can see that my forehead just basically, you know, doesn't have as much foundation as around my cheeks where I first added that. So, you know, I'm going to deduct some points like right then and there in terms of having an even application. But I feel like that's something you can work around if you're like seriously trying to like ball on a budget, like use something you already have and not spend any money on foundation brushes or beauty blender or anything. Uh, yeah, sure, you know, you can make it work for sure. And it would be a very sanitary option. I mean, I think that, you know, yes, it does look like really smooth on my skin, but I'm just noticing that there are some places have more foundation like on my cheeks than here. Again, if I wanted to spend more time, do some correcting, I could do that. So that's something that can easily be fixed. But for the purposes of this video, I just want to be real with you guys and let you know what's up. So just make sure that you know you work in small sections and apply the same amount to each section. You know what I mean? So let me go ahead and clean this off and then we'll see how this works with concealer. So here we go. Concealer, I'm using the NYX HD Concealer. So I'm going to apply it with the doe foot applicator and then attempt to blend it in with the bra insert. Okay, let's see. So initially I'm just going to take like the, the part that would actually face a boob, you know, <laughs> and I'm going to put my finger in here so I can attempt to kind of get a more defined pointy area and I'm going to go in and blend. Hmm, you know, you guys, take a look at this side. This is not, it's not bad at all. It's not bad. Okay, so before I even add my, uh, you know, setting powder under the eyes, I just want to say I'm really a fan of using this for concealer. Now, my one complaint is that because your beauty blender isn't soaking up that excess concealer as you dab, like I should have actually put a lot less under my eyes because I feel like I have way more concealer than I actually need. But in terms of it being like smooth and like blendable, like A plus, I think it looks fabulous. So let me go ahead and add the setting powder and then I'll be right back. And then of course we gotta try this with some cream bronzer. I'm using this black radiance, this side right here <laughs> it's their true complexion custom concealer and it's got the concealer side here which I don't really use and I really like this bronzer so we're gonna see how it really really applies all right so this part is kind of awkward I mean I guess I just kind of how am I gonna do this I'm just gonna dip it in rub it in I guess so I'm just gonna Ooh. okay it's not bad actually Gonna draw this in. Hmm, might have added a bit too much bronzer. Ooh, check that out, guys. Damn, this is like a really nice, subtle bronze. I will say though that I think I added a bit too much to my forehead area, if you can see that. Uh, I'm not a big fan, but I think that's my own fault and not this. I just can't get over how little product you really need to use, but 
I will say that I'm, I'm really happy with the way that, you know, this bronzer application is working out. It's very, very impressive. I have to say that I'm pretty dang impressed. So this is my face using just the, the you know, little booby blender here. <laughs> oh God, it flops everywhere. <laughs> um, I, you know, of course used a brush to set my face with translucent setting powder. But look, here are my overall thoughts. First, I'm really, really, really impressed with how well it blends out cream, you know, foundation, concealer, bronzer, like it's so, I don't know, it's like surprising, you know? Like, like really? Like really? This whole time I never needed a beauty blender. I could have just used a boob insert, you know? <laughs> it's kind of crazy. So I will say, you know, obviously the biggest downfall is you have a hard time getting into really small fine areas like right underneath where it's like the corner of your eyes. And also, I will say, you know, it takes a while. I think there's a little bit of a learning curve because you got to remember that you shouldn't use as much product because that way, you know, like since it isn't actually absorbing any of your product, use less. So that way you don't end up looking like you've got a ton of makeup on your face, you know? But I will say I'm like so surprised that I have like kind of a luminous glow about me with this booby blender thing. Like, I don't know, but I do have to say, yes, I'm a fan, but you know, it's like, is this a must have item? Probably not, but if you want to have fun with makeup, sure, try it out, you know? Um, so that's those are my thoughts. And if you guys have any more questions and that you want to ask me from my experience, put them down below. I just thought this was really fun, kind of a way to switch up, you know, from my usual tutorials. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed day five of <laughs> seven days of holiday slay. So this is just like a cool little review and hey if you want to affordably slay with this whole thing here the booby blender then hey this just might be for you it might be <laughs> so if you guys try this please don't forget to come back and let me know what you thought in the comments and I will see you guys don't forget come back tomorrow for day six of seven days of holiday slay <laughs>